Hi, I'm Natasha. Welcome to a trimester three workout. So for today's workout, I am going to be using an old pair of tights. We are going to be stretching them around a bit, so one with a pair of ladders in would be absolutely perfect. Or if you have got a long resistance band, if you've been to physiotherapy or um, you just happen to have one of these lying around, you can also use one of these, but it will need to be a light one but I actually love the resistance that tights give you. And they are like my new favorite home workout piece of fitness equipment. So in this workout, you are in trimester three, your body is going through so many changes and your energy level, where your bump is sitting, your hormone levels, you're gonna feel very different day to day. So in these workouts, just do the best that you can today. Work to your own level, just do what feels right for you. If I'm doing too many or too less for you, um, if you want to push it today and you've got lots of energy, then please, you can always do some more repetitions. Um, or if it's too much for you, just take a break. Make sure you've got some water on hand. You can pause the video at any time as well. So take it at your own pace. But we are going to have a great workout. I'm going to be looking at total body today. There is so much you can do with a pair of tights and I'm about to show you. So careful as you get on, I want you to actually stand on top of your tights. And basically the exercises get harder the further your feet are apart on the tights. So that's how you create a different resistance with the tights. So first exercise, I just want you to warm up your waist. So I want you a narrow kind of hip width apart. And if you are getting any of the lower back pains that you get in trimester three, it is really hard not to. So your bump's getting bigger. It just puts so much pressure on this lower back. So this first one is a great one if your lower back is feeling tired and achy. To start with, I want you to think about drawing your bumper in knees are slightly bent and hips tilting forward and i want you to come and twist in your waist holding the tights so you already might feel so my tights actually feel like i need a bit more stretch so that is where you can adjust so just play around with it a second on this one you need to be able to turn the upper half of your body drawing your belly button in so just have a measure have a wiggle and we all get started so knees are stuffed Knees slightly bent, let's go for this. So come and turn side to side. I want you to think about your breathing. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, I love these types because it's that back hand. I want you to think about lifting. And if you turn and face behind you, you know, that will really give you that work in your waist and hopefully loosening up your lower back. You have to think about your hips pointing forwards because that's where it's going to be working all in that kind of middle joint. Good, come and settle in the middle. Take your feet slightly wider apart now, and we are going to go for a squat. So I'd like your hands out in front of you, and keep your hands there. You should be feeling loads of back stabilisation, holding those arms up, which is really important. Strong back muscles, as your boobs are getting bigger, is really, really important. If you do feel it's too achy, you could just do the squats going down. But I really want this to work and start waking up your lats, your posterior deltoids, and all those support posture muscles that will stop you getting achy neck and shoulders. Hold this last one down for me. Lift up through your core and give me a bounce. You've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one, well done. I'm gonna stay this side and I'm going to wrap around so my band is a little bit tighter. So this one, I want you to tip forwards. Now I want you to think about a plank position here. So planks can be really hard in trimester three. That floor can get a really long way away. So in this position, bending your knees, bottom stuck out. I want you to think about lifting up through that belly button. So already, that is a great core exercise. Then I do need this quite tight. I want you to squeeze those back muscles together. So elbows really squeezing together. Now, if you don't feel it, come and give me another wrap round your hands. So by doing that extra wrap, I'm like, hello, I can feel that in my back muscles. 
So the work is coming as you squeeze your elbows together. Try and keep your neck nice and relaxed. My weight is on my toes. And I'm just really thinking about that lift through my belly button here. Good, give me one last one. Perfect. Now, the next one, I'm so excited. I had a super posh machine when I worked in LA that did this and I have found I can create exactly the same thing with a pair of tights, isn't that exciting? So this one is working, your core and your shoulders. And shoulders are so important as your boobs get bigger, we want to keep these muscles nice and strong to support your back. So I'd like you to take your tights over to one side, your knees need to be soft, and all the time think about that pull in. And now I want you to take your arms like you were stirring a gigantic bowl of soup. Now, if you pull your belly button in, I can really, really, really feel this on my core. You do have to almost tilt your hips forwards in order to feel this on your tummy. And your arms, you wanna be keeping them at horizontal. Good, let's go round the other way. So stirring that big bowl of soup. Now, before it totally burns out your shoulders, uh, we're going to do about five reps of these. It's half what we did normally, because we're going both ways. And I want you to work in every direction. So now I want you to imagine you've got two big bowls of soup and you are going forwards. So those hands go together and out to the side. Now, I don't know about you, I can feel this in every arm muscle. I can feel it in my abs if I think about pulling in, but it's that wonderful stretch as I take it to the side that's working good, and then other way around. So come front first, out to the side, and then back. If you were feeling super strong, and wanted to give the, if you wanted to hold up a little bit more on those tights, Wow, so just that extra bit of tension. I haven't had to go up much at all to really, really feel that in my shoulders. Can you understand why I'm only doing five now? You have one more of stirring soup outside in two bowls. That's not a snappy title, is it? Good, so let's come back to the first one. That was your first set of exercises. So feet hip width apart. Let's go for that waist twist to start with. So you may need to have your measuring stick. So this one is for core, a lower back, you have to really think about your back arm lifting. So um, it's that back arm opening out your chest. And this is a wonderful chest stretch. If you're feeling stressed, your chest and shoulders get so tight. And this is a brilliant one on your lower back as well. So see if you can give me three more, two, and one, perfect. Now gonna go into those squats. So hands go forward, head is in line. I want you to sit back and then your tension comes as you come up. So here, the band isn't doing anything, but then it's on the way up, you should feel your back muscles saying hello. Also thinking about tummy button coming in, head should be nice and relaxed, and arms stay at horizontal. So weight right back into your bottom, squeezing your bottom cheeks and lifting up through that core. See if you can do me five more. So you've got five and four. Everyone, I'm thinking tummy button in. Trying to keep my chest up. Good, two more. I can feel that in my shoulders, I hope you can. And one more. Good, I'm gonna give it that hold down if you wanna work a bit harder. You can always give it a little bounce if you've got anything left in you and come up. Give your arms a shake. You definitely feel mine working today. So this next one, you need a shorter lever. So wrapping those weights around. Tip over so that you are lifting through your core. This is your standing plank position. Feet can go wider, will also make it harder. And then come and squeeze your elbows at the back. I'm gonna give it an extra wrap. It's the same as last time. You should find, if this is easy, and you don't feel that it's doing something, come and take your weight into your toes a little bit more. By coming forwards, that changes the feeling in my glutes. And then, by having more resistance on that band, either by wider legs or wrapping it around your hands, that's where you can feel it strengthening those back muscles. Good, give me one more. 
Oh, hold this last one up if you can. Those super holds on the ends are totally an option. It's just if you want to work a bit harder, they are there for you. Okay, so bend your knees, a standing plank again. So thinking about that bump drawing in through your spine. Come and give me some nice big circles. Knees slightly bent. And this one is stirring one bowl of soup. So it doesn't matter which side you go first. Just try and keep those arms at horizontal and you're trying to keep your body still. So your core work is coming by you drawing in and those arms moving. Come round to the other side now. So nice big circle. Head is nice and relaxed. Think about your breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good, you've got one more going round. And these are the ones that hurt your brain a little bit. So this is like you've got two imaginary bowls of soup to the side of you. So I want you to take your arms wide, come forward, keeping those elbows up and round. Now this is one I have to think about my core a bit more. If you can take those arms slightly backwards, that's where it's engaging my posture muscles at the back. And again, remember, if you want to do it harder, just move your hands down those tights and see if you can still find that horizontal. Good, come and settle at chest height and come round to the other way. So opening out your chest this time. This one makes you want to arch your back, which is where your core comes in. So as you come out, your tail might want to stick out. That's where you need to super think about squeezing your bottom cheeks so you are still and supporting your lower back by pulling your tummy in. I hope you can feel that because I find those pretty hard. Lovely, so back to the waist twist, third set. So this one, we're right on the top, feet hip width apart, tummy drawn in. So this one should feel like you're moving your body in just all the right directions. So it's working your core, you're getting a lovely stretch on your chest and you're getting a brilliant stretch on your lower back at the same time. Think about breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and it's that lift in the back arm where I can really, really feel the work. And one, that is brilliant. Okay, so next one is the squat. So just come up to horizontal. Again, if you want a bit more work in your back, come higher up your tights and come and sit down and come up again. This one, your knees have to be in line with your toes. And remember, this may be opposite than if you were using dumbbells as weights, because the work is happening as you come up. And that's actually really exciting because it means you should be working your bottom muscles, which are the bits that actually support your bump and stop you from getting back pain. See if you can do me three more. Good, two more and one more, settling it down. Lift those hands up if you can, draw your belly button in. Head should be in line with your spine, weight is right into your heels. Good, that was pretty tough last time, wasn't it? So next one is the tipping forward, so you are in like a standing plank position. So I'm tipping forward, weight is in my toes, and the work on my core is coming by lifting here. I have to wrap my hands quite a long way to feel this one working. So my elbows are drawing in. I'm thinking about a standing plank. So your bump should actually be lifted. If you had to look at yourself in the mirror, you should be able to like relax your bump and lift it in and see it moving quite dramatically. I actually always love that in trimester three. <laughs> if you've got a strong core, you should be able to make your bump almost disappear. Good, you've got two more of these. Hold this last one in. Just give me a little pulse. Head in line. Perfect. Good, and come and stand up for me here. Soup. My shoulders are telling me this is very much a third set. So up to you on how high you want to go on the arms. Come, I am going anti-clockwise first. I had to think about that. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way round your first circle is. Just trying to draw that circle as big as you can, but pulling your tummy in. Good, one last one. Let's take it in that other direction. So I'm now going clockwise. 
I think I always go the same way the first time. It doesn't matter as long as you go both directions, then you'll be working those abs equally. Good. One last one. Perfect. Now come in so they're forwards and stir that soup in an outside direction. And it's this one, it's the singles. That if I get it right, if I keep my elbows on horizontal, I'm drawing my tummy in, I can feel this is doing such amazing things on my back, my shoulders, my arm muscles. Good, and come the other way. And they're so important. You're getting a heavy baby very soon and it should stop you from getting neck pain as you're breastfeeding and your boobs are getting bigger and your milk starts coming in. So hands go forward. This one, you're getting a really nice chest stretch here. Good, see if you can do me two more. Third set, my shoulders are talking to me. And one, well done. If you were with me to the end, you've done really well. Go and grab a drink of water and I'll see you back for set two. Next set, this is an exercise I would usually use on a cable machine in the gym. And I'd like you to have your feet really close together, knees slightly bent and think about squeezing your inside thighs together. This position is actually brilliant at helping your pelvic floor. And I want you to come and bring your tights up to about chest height. And again, depending on how hard you work, if you bring your hands high, high, lower down on the tights and stretch them up, that's how you're gonna create the resistance. I now want you to come and twist round to the back. You have to think about really drawing that belly button in and trying to keep your hips and lower body still. And if you can feel by keeping those hands still and at horizontal, I can really feel that in my waist. Again, if you're getting lower back pain, moving your back in these different directions should help ease it off. Like any kind of tension, any tightness in your hips, this is a really good one for kind of like stretching your back and strengthening your core. If you don't feel your core, really think about lifting your bump and you should get like an aha moment if you're like, oh, I can feel that now. Give me one more each side. Good, and one more. We are now going to take it into your back. And again, you need to find that tension where you can hold the tights at horizontal. My knees are still in that clench position, so I'm working that inside thigh, knees together. Take the hands as wide as you can, bring them into the middle at horizontal, and bring them out again. And the muscle I want you to think about is your back muscle. So you're really trying to squeeze your back muscles together. I can still feel this on my core. You are gonna have to tuck your hips underneath so that you're not arching back. And that is gonna help you work your transverse abdominus. So your belly button muscle that supports your back and will stop you like curving as you go out. So again, this is working your tummy but I am focusing on the back. If you don't feel this one, think about, you may feel like you're at horizontal and not quite be. If you don't feel this one, lift those hands up and you should go, oh, I can feel that right into my back muscle. This is pretty hard, isn't it? Good. Hold this last one out. Make sure you can still breathe. Think about that core reset. Relax those shoulders. Well done. Give your arms a shake. That was pretty hard, wasn't it? I now want you to go back into that table position. So here is our trimester three plank. So you are lifting up into your tummy here. And then with the arms, I want you to come and fly to the side and come down. So I am just stabilized with those legs. Head is in line with your spine. Core is nice and tight. Good, so if you can do me three more two and hold this last one up well done squeezing those arms a little bit further back if you can well done let's go back to the beginning so knees slightly bent her arms are straight out in front of you tuck your hips underneath come and twist to the back and forwards really thinking about that lift through your chest twisting in your waist and if you don't feel this one, maybe you need some more tension in your tights, so then come a bit lower. Make sure that those inside thighs are squeezing together. Head is nice and relaxed. But I can definitely, definitely feel this working in my waist. Well done. 
Good, so now elbows coming in. I have to go about, I'm about halfway down on my tights so I can get the resistance. You should be able to see my biceps are tensing before I'm going anywhere. Tuck your tail in so you can think about your belly button and then squeeze out to the side. I'm gonna try and go for 10 repetitions. You may need to loosen off. I think I might have gone a little bit hard actually. It's feel really tricky. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good, hold that last one out, hold it here. Can you squeeze it together? Can you lift through your belly button? Hold it, well done. Good, and so next one, tabletop position here. So you're getting that lovely work on your legs here. And I just want you to fly those arms to the side whilst you are lifting your belly button. And so this is relaxed here at the bottom. It's here. You're gonna feel it in your back muscles today, aren't you? Really been focusing on posture and core today. Good, two more. Holding this one up here. Lift that belly button. Can you get your arms any higher? Well done. Good, and coming back to the first one. So first one, squeeze those inside thighs together. Tuck your hips underneath. Arms go forwards, knees are slightly bent. So now come and twist in your waist. Come round to the middle, lifting up through those hips. So hands are going up. Think about breathing and turning in towards your waist and into the middle. You're trying to keep your hips forward and still. And this third set, I don't know about you, I can definitely, definitely feel it. This is one I have to think about drawing in, but I love what it's doing to my abs and my waist. And it should feel really nice as a stretch on your hips and back as well. Good, so come and bring those elbows in, chest is open. Come up to horizontal so that you can feel that resistance. Hands goes in and squeeze out. Head is in line with your spine. Knees are slightly bent, core tight. Really squeezing those back muscles. So this is slow and controlled. This one is tough, it's hurting me today. Good, you've got two more and hold it out. Here's that super squeeze if you want it and pulse back if you've got anything left in you. Good, well done. And here we're gonna come into that standing plank. Think about that lift up. So this is just a great exercise as it is. So I can feel that stretch in the backs of my legs and feel it in my core. And then I want you to lift up and here. So squeezing here, good, well done. So lifting up through those abs, good, two, and one. Good, hold up this last one, perfect. I'm now going to do a tricep exercise. So this tricep exercise is for tricep and core. Your triceps are the bit, I'm pretty old. When I wave my arm, I've got that loose bit of skin. I'm old, that started waving. So I really need to do these tricep exercises and your triceps are important because they're one of your posture muscles that again, should stop any pain or shoulders in your back. Now, I want you to come with your, inside your side, you can see me best then. Um, come with both hands on here. And I basically want your elbows together and you to stretch up. So my knees are slightly bent and it's the reverse exercise of, we have cable machines in the gym that um, are great for doing triceps on and you pull down usually if you're in the gym and here that work is coming as you lift up. Now I don't know about you, but I can really feel this in my core. It's quite a small movement but I'm feeling it backs of my arms. I'm feeling it in my core. Make sure that you're tucking under. Give me little pulses now. So give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done, shake those arms out. That is a pretty tough one, isn't it? And one more tricep. I want you to come and kick back with your arms and come back. So again, using your core as you're tipping forward, stretch those arms backwards and bend your arms in. I think I need an extra wrap, <laughs> maybe not that much. So here, so finding that balance, squeezing your shoulders, that is a lovely stretch. 
and again I'm working my core as I'm leaning forward and you're trying to squeeze those arms together lifting up as high as you can this last one keep your head in line with your spine if you're watching me on a big TV might do I have to guess like kind of check what I'm doing and then put your head in line now pulse up for me hold those up and then tap your arms together wow I can feel that you've got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 triceps did you feel them triceps and core so this one is a reverse bell pull elbows are together just stretching those tights as high up so this is another one they're never going to quite be the same again are they this is why i said make sure that you've got old tights you're not going to be wearing these <laughs> maybe a giraffe would so keep those elbows as tight as you can to feel it heads in line with your spine good make sure you're keeping breathing and one good and come and tip forwards core nice and tight wrap those arms so this is that ski position again lifting up your core head is in line taking those arms straight behind you you're going to feel the work as they reach up at the back it's a great stretch on your chest as well and hold this last one up little pulses up for 10 head in line still thinking about that tummy and then hands go together pulse you've got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 i'm not really looking forward to this third set so if you want to drink water and you don't want to do the third set i completely understand if you're with me and are up for a challenge let's go for it so straight up and down for that reverse bell pull i'm trying to keep my elbows together hips tucked underneath head is in line and again drawing my belly button in so it's working that core my arms are actually shaking can you believe we're working this hard with a pair of tights <laughs> and pulse up nine eight seven and one that's hard come and wrap round come back into that core position lifting your tummy straighten your arms back lifting trying to keep that neck in line with your spine drawing your belly button up making sure you're still breathing and hold this last one out push up higher you've got 10 9 really think about opening out that chest good and tap together last time you've got 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 so I'm feeling mean today. <laughs> That's it, quite tough. Okay, give your arms a shake out. And we definitely need to stretch out those triceps. We did some serious arms and shoulders today. Trimester three, so you're gonna to have to tell me if that was too hard, if you're all hating me right now, put me a comment underneath. Let me know it was too hard. If you enjoyed it and you enjoyed working hard, also let me know. For all feedback's really useful. Come and open out that chest. Lift up your chest here. Lift up those arms. Good. Come and stretch over to the side. We did some great work on lower back and waist today as well. Come over this side. Good. Come and hold onto a wall for balance. Put your knees together. And push that hip forward and stretch out the quads same foot pushing forwards just kind of bend over see if you can touch the toe you can still hold on for balance just feel that stretch in the back of your legs come switch over to the other side so knees are together chest up feel that stretch in your hip flexor and the quad at the back of the front of your leg come forwards just reach over now have your hands on your legs you can reach down towards your toe and drop your head and just stretch out the backs of those legs Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know any feedback and hopefully you'll join me again very soon.